Okay, back on the farm. Hey, look what we're doing today. Yeah, we're having a little welding fun. So we've got a problem with our welder. We're gonna have to hook it up to a truck to keep it running, because apparently the battery's not working. So not, not a big surprise for us here. We, he's got more batteries and tires and stuff. You know, farmers always have all this stuff, so it's not a big deal. We'll hook it up. We're gonna do some work on this welder eventually here. And then anyway. here's our project for the day. On our digger, this is a chisel plow. We have that little bad boy right there. So it's broke off the end, which holds the rod, which when you pull it all the way up is what pulls the wheels up. So the one ear is broke off. We're gonna add another piece to it. Here's what we're doing, where'd I put it? Um, let me see what we're doing. Where'd I put it? Here we go. So I'm adding this piece to that. Not super strong, the cut's really bad. I'm, you know what, I'm an average everything, so. But average is good, right? Average is better than mediocre. So once we get, Miguel had to run, cause I, uh, I stupidly, I'm admitting I left my welding hood back in town. And uh, so Miguel had to run and grab me a welding hood and uh, he's coming up. We got to get some gas for this truck, but we're gonna hook the we're gonna hook both of them up. We're gonna hook the truck to the welder to keep the welder running long enough for me to get this thing welded up. Hopefully, get the job done, get it solid, and uh, get him back on the road. He's gonna do some greasing on the on the big blue tractor. We don't have John Deere's many around here. He bought a bunch of New Holland. We're not going to say anything bad about it, but you know, New Holland, yeah, not my not my choice. I like my big green tractor instead of my big blue tractor. And it sounds better in a country song. So what can you say? Nobody sings a song about my big blue tractor. It's my big green tractor. And then the chisel plow digger. Right now we're basically um, weed control. And the fields that are laying fallow right now, we're uh, keeping the weeds down. So that it doesn't get out of, out of hand, because man, the thistle and the and the goat weed and stuff out here gets nuts. So that's what we're doing. That's our project for this week. Well, for today. So we'll we'll let you know how hey. it goes. Here's where we find ourselves right now. That's gas. Doesn't look like gas. So we're draining this tank because I got everything running and it just will not run. I'm pretty sure the float's probably stuck in here too. So we're gonna do a little cleaning up. See if we can get this gas out of here and uh, get some clean gas in. I got some clean gas, so we're good. We got a whole five gallon bucket. Well, four gallons anyway. Okay. In case I wasn't able to actually show you the color of that gas. <laughs> that's the color of the gas. So we've drained out eight and a half gallons. Well, probably nine and a half gallons. We're thinking it's a 10 gallon tank to be honest with you. So I'm gonna drain this back out. We're gonna put some good clean gas in and we're gonna give it a shot, see if we can make it work. So I'm gonna to admit to the worst weld of my entire life. That is terrible. I put 6011 in the, in the root and I put a 7018 on the top, but I'll be honest with you, a 7018 is probably three or four or five years old and it's, I'm sure it's just, it's crap. But anyway, it is back together to where I'm pretty sure it'll hold and that's all that matters. We're gonna throw a pin in it and we should be able to lift this bad boy back up, so. Admittedly, crappy, but we got the welder running. I mean, that's actually a feat in itself, and I swallow, I didn't swallow any gas, thank goodness, but I took a mouthful. So we got everybody everybody else taken care of. So there you go. One more, uh, one more farm task down. So our uh, adventure today, we got this six by six that we use to move water and stuff. And that's how you make a wheel line move. Somebody asked me the other day, how does that work? Well, you got a motor in the middle and it rolls all these wheels. Sure beats the heck out of hand lines, I can tell you that much. And I've never really done any of that, but here we go. And uh, we're, let, we're tightening up the chain, so we went to YouTube University and Miguel, he's gonna take the link out. Or we're gonna see if we can take 
He's gonna take the master link out. We're gonna see if we can take a link out. So, man, we had to we had to release all that stuff in there. The brake. There's some uh, there's some hold down, hold downs on the axle. Then you rotate the axle. This is kind of an interesting situation. So this is what we're doing. So we're gonna see if we can't get this put back together. This is our little runaround toy down here on the on the hay farm. So let's see what happens. Anyway, Miguel's taking that link out. Let's see if we can get a if we can get a link out, right? <sighs> so Miguel gave up on me. He's gonna go get some WD-40. See if he can crack that loose. We're getting there. Oh, man, we loosened that up quite a bit. We'll get that master link out. And then tighten this chain up. Oh, so Miguel says, it's supposed to come easy because when I change the other ones, they're all easy. <laughs> ah, there you go. Okay, cool. We caught that on, on camera. So he took the link out. Now, so we're going to take one link out, right? Is that what, I don't know what we do. So he's going to show us how. All right, this is cool. I don't know nothing about this. Even when I used to ride bicycles and stuff, I never took the links out. Oh, I see. Now it presses the pin out, huh? Oh, okay. Cool. I did not know. You're so much smarter than me, huh? Well, yeah, you're smarter than me. I don't ever know how to do this. This is a field repair. We're doing this down here in, on the farm down here where the alfalfa is. We're doing this on right on the farm, so nothing in the shop. We were gonna take it to the shop yesterday, but we just decided not to. We figured we could actually do it right here. Oh, that's cool. So you press the pin out on both sides? Yep, both sides. Okay. Okay, so here we go. So we opened it up and I had to do some adjustment here and I'm <laughs> bleeding again. I don't, you know what, if I'm not bleeding, I'm not working. So I'm bleeding again. So go ahead and put it in, Miguel. Let's make sure we got it. And we did. Okay, we got it. So we'll put our our uh, our key back on. What do you call that thing? Say what? Say good. <laughs> the, the, security, the security blanket. <laughs> <laughs> kind of hard to see, huh? Oh my gosh, I'm bleeding again. Bleeding again, huh? Yes. Am I even working if I'm not bleeding? Blood thinners, I hate them. Okay, so he puts that, that pin back on there. And we have successfully, you know which one it is? Hold on, more work.
listening to airplanes. But anyway, so here we go. We got it all tightened back up. You can see where we tightened this up. And then uh, we got to put the bracket back on for the for the brake caliper. And then we got to put the skid plate back on and we're done. That was way more easy than we thought because I thought we were going to have to do the back axle too. So we got to tighten that back axle back up because we, we loosened everything. But it is way more tight. So actually we just did a tutorial on a Polaris 500 Sportsman 6x6. We just did a tutorial on how to take this dude off because it was a lot easier than we thought after watching the other guy's tutorials. So it wasn't bad. Other than the obvious and making me bleed, Miguel likes to see me bleed, so he makes me bleed every day. Every day at work, he says, if I don't bleed at work, I'm not working, so. So I have taken my seat of shame. <laughs> I don't think it's a seat of shame. I'm in the four, I'm in the uh, skid steer, and we got Miguel putting tires back on because we had to lift it up to get a tire off underneath it because that's what we used to support it. Got one tire on gonna get that one on only got four lug nuts on each one and then we are going to put it back down and we are going to be done for today we got our water figured out I think we're good we almost ran out of water which is crazy okay so Miguel caught his mistake he put <laughs> he put the wheels on backwards so they were kind of flip-flopped anyway we got we got it figured out we're gonna get it all done Never say never, man. We're always going to get it done. We'll figure something out. Huh? You what? Oh, yeah. Should we should we get some footage of the skid steer running? I don't know if I can do this one-handed. Let's give it a whirl, shall we? Here we go. I didn't film, I didn't film any of that. I was like, okay. I just run, you know, whatever. We just run around. Woo! There you go. Been a while, man. Miguel's running around, he says it's all good, so. Okay, so Miguel says we better we better go check it out and go for a ride. So let's, let's, see, let's see how we did. Here we go. Man, I feel like an old man, I'm bouncing around here. All right, so here we go. Let's put it in reverse. Oh, much better. No noise. Yeah, no noise, that's much better. Much better, everything's running good, yeah? It's all good? Okay. Oh yeah, much better. That's solid, yeah. Okay, cool, we did it. Kill myself. Got one four wheeler to work on when we go back to the shop. We're good. And park it, we do. There we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's one way to park it. Don't show Brent that. I just ran into his truck. Oh, there we are. So uh, out here in the uh, <laughs> at the at the hay farm, and we're doing. What are we doing? We're doing maintenance. Thanks for watching. Come back and see us again. We got some projects we're gonna do. So just keep watching. This is just, you know, another day in the life, you know, bleeding and doing all of our stuff.